<laughs> hey, hey, people. So, Kirioff just told me to get out of my face. You probably caught the end of it. Well, stuff him. I don't get out of no one's face. So, we've got another game here, people, from the UK UTL. It's a round of 16. It's University of Manchester versus University of London Team B. And we have got Nomad, who I believe starred in another game for the uh, University of Manchester in this particular best of five series. I forget what the score is, but if you're this far into watching all these cast and sequence, you'll know. So, update me. <laughs> these tend to get a bit retarded around here. You've probably guessed as much. Especially when Kirioff, since Skype talking to me, whispering to me all these dodgy things which nobody should really hear. Well, like, you adopted. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? It's bad times. It's like... You, you sometimes just have to mute the lad. Really, I'm contemplating removing him from the unit lost team. If you if you if you, if you subscribe to that idea, then subscribe to the channel. It's a show of let's get, <laughs> get out on. of it. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we've got Nomad. He's from the University of Manchester. He's the Red Protoss. He's in the top right hand position, and we have got the Saint, who is from the University of London, Team B or Team Two, whichever way you want to look at it. And he's spawned in the bottom left hand position. Oh, it's not like a cabins. Good lord. So it looks like Nomad's going to stop the expansion now. I don't think he even cares. The Saint, he just seems to be not caring all too much. He's got his spawning pool down. And imagine we're going to see a hatchery off him. We've got a drone chasing the probe. Um, yeah, it's all, it's all great. And Kirioff's going to take over. It's all funky dory. No, that's the wrong phrase. Hunky dory, that's it. Funky, funky dory. dory. We don't know what that means. <laughs> God, it's just your usual opening gambit, ain't it? You've got your gas, you've got your gateway. There's it's not even a gambit, is it, bro? There you go, son. There's a pylon block down. The drone's working on it. A gambit, son, is when you just... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. So, uh, yeah, you just make up, but, you know, use your imagination. No, go on. You've got to, see, oh, you've got to finish that. I'm not elaborating on it, son. It would probably result in all kinds of repercussions. And uh, that's not what I see. <laughs> so we've got the gas has been nicked by the saint. That's not very nice is it, to steal the gas, but sometimes uh, a zerg's got to do what a zerg's got to do. And uh, if he can't put up his expansion, then he's going to nick your gas. It's it's time for forward. an eye. It's time for an eye, baby. We've got four zerglings being produced, so they'll come and give a hand with the pylon down here. That that <laughs> that, that drone's tickling to death. <laughs> it looks like he's giving it the backhand the day the drone. He's like, yeah, slap. Giving it a brief history of pain with the back of his hand. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> you know it. So, uh, there goes the expansion, so on the Funky Dory expansion, we have got <laughs> a, the Saint with a uh, Overlord over the Abyss on the right-hand side. And uh, no doubt he's just going to tickle his way into the Nomad's base and then uh, get his ass out of there, if he's got one, before he gets binned. We've got a probe hanging around the back for Nomad. So, I mean, he can drop a proxy pylon down there if he so desires. That'd be dirty. I hope he does it. It'd be dirty, and uh, apparently Kirioff likes it when it's dirty. You know it. <laughs> ah, pro tip, I'm a hero. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. So, um. <laughs> pro tip, that's the pro tip. It's not. Pro I was tip, gonna, here I'm we a go. Hero. Pro tip now. Right. See the, the spawning pool? It's like got a crazy shimmer on it. I'm sure it only does that when it's upgraded. So if you scout, you know it's upgraded. If it's got that crazy, like, shimmer going on, the liquid's oh, flowing, son. That's my pro tip, not 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 me, obviously. Because <laughs> that would be a kingly tip. tip. It was quite good. It'd be a kingly tip, bloke, if it was about me. Sure, or, or an emperor tastic, whatever. You, I mean, this is just degraded into garbage. This has now. I think uh, I need to see some excitement, son. I need the saint or nomad to step up and show me some worth. Turn up and just smash somebody so bad. Like uh, the thing is, the previous game we just watched with all the nuclear warfare, you know. I've got high hopes, bloke, and if they're yeah. not fulfilled, I might actually have to do something I might later regret. Nine nukes being produced simultaneously sets you up for the next game, so the next game needs to deliver. I want to see, I want to see Nardis worm full of banelings. I don't know. I just. I... You... So you, is, is that is that crazy old Kirov? He's lost for words, and I can't even say his name anymore. Kirov. So, uh, yeah, I mean, what can we really talk about? Well, we, there's a lot to talk about, but obviously we're a bit fucking mad. So uh, we've got... <laughs> they're both taking their... Well, he's about to take his expansion by the looks of it. The Saint... Uh, no, man, not the Saint, because that's a Zerg player. He's got his... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I do apologise. My, my, my camera went absolutely crazy. We've got a ton of spine crawlers. Four? Why? I don't know. What the hell? Maybe he had hundreds of minerals just to lash out. 
It seems a bit he has, crazy. Yeah, he's heavy on minerals, but surely you could like spend that on. Is he? I don't think he's that heavy. Well, We've he was proxy... until he put down a million spine crawlers. Well, he's pro the proxy pylons in place now for Nomad in the cell. Four zealots are warping in. They're just waiting, biding the time to go in. And uh, the spine crawlers are going to pay for the salves to tour in that. But really, I mean, look at the expansion. Two drones. You must be having a laugh, son. Two drones on that expansion there. It was pointless even building it. That is quite dire. Is he building up? No, those are roaches. What's he doing? What are you doing, Saint? Guess we're all drones on that. We'll all have it removed. Well, Saint's just lost the first engagement and the zealots are moving in from the side, so spine crawlers are going to hold by the looks of it. Or are they? I don't actually know. Yeah, the roaches. It's a good job the roaches popped out there. He needed the roaches to take out the zealots because he would get absolutely smashed. The queen's come over, but he's taking sickening losses. You know what? I don't know if that's going to be enough to hold. That is a lot of zealots to deal with. Yeah, the zealots are chopping through spine crawlers. You know, I, 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 yeah, it looks like they're about to hold it, but yeah, I'm not too happy with what happened there with the Saint. But on the other hand, I don't know whether he'd be able to, he would have held that push there if he didn't invest, in, you know, so many minerals into the spine crawlers instead of getting the drones. Yeah, I think it, it did work out, but I still, actually, I think he would have been better off with the drones. Yeah, yeah. Could. I, I, yeah, I think he would have been better with the drones because if you, I, think, I, I don't know, I, I don't know what he's thinking, but there you go. He's managed to clear up that attack there, but really, Nomad should have took his expansion off the back of that. But it looks like he invested all his income into the attack. So, I mean, really, Nomad's in the worst position now. He wants to get rid of that extractor in his base as well. That's doing my head in. Get rid of it. You can yeah. see everything you're doing. Yeah, well, he's got a couple of sentries and stalkers. That, well, a sentry and, like, four stalkers there. He's totally blocked himself in on the front. So, he's a bit paranoid of a counter-attack, which is probably going to happen. I'd imagine it's going to happen. Yeah, he's starting to take down his own pylon now, which won't supply block him because he's got hardly any supply. So, I mean, 31 against 52 supply tells its own story. I mean, there are a lot of units on the field. I mean, there's, I'm looking at the units tab, I mean, there's the main bulk of drones and zerglings, but still, he is behind still the Saint is um, in harvesters, which is kind of strange. He's got two, two actions, which again, it goes back to his early game, I think, investing into the spine crawlers. Yeah, he's, he's starting to get his drone production back up, but yeah, he's... Yeah. He really shouldn't be that far behind at this no, stage of the no. game. He's, and he hasn't... That was odd. He ain't rally pointed some of his drones either. They were just idle for a few seconds. Yeah. He's finally taking his Nexus now. No, man. We're taking his natural. I, he could... Uh, he couldn't... He could move in and try and deny the same could, but he takes some losses. We've got the Forge. To get, well, the standard, like, delayed Ford. Ford? Ford Focus? Forge Expand. But he looks like he's going to deny it. He's going to deny it. And I believe that was. I think yeah, that was, was cancelled. Was it cancelled? Yeah, the, the money came back, so he was cancelled. Uh, he's not really too clever off the same, just blindly attacking to that because he's probably going to lose all of his units by the looks of it. Although he is doing some sickening damage, and there's only two stalkers left, so. Yeah, and there's no block, so actually this could be quite bad, you know, for the same. Yeah. Well, for no Why man, is it? sorry. He's getting himself he's hung up on that pile, what's he doing? He could possibly lose a forge here. No, he's. he's, he's you should have carried on attacking there, Saint. I don't yeah, that, that was that was yeah, odd. He, he could have, have easily pushed pressure. those stalkers out of the way. Yeah, he should have carried on slamming the pressure. And he's, he's ahead now, quite commandingly with drones. So uh, we should probably be seeing some kind of a yeah. There's a, a different, a different, <laughs> a de whatever. There's a difference in the bloody mineral count, and it's most definitely in the Saint's favour. Being a Saint and all, godly presence. You can imagine it. You'd expect it, it son. Wasn't the Saint a spy I don't in know. like a 60s TV program? I I'm sure it did. was. The only 60s program I ever watched was Ironside, and that's because he had an amazing wheelchair. <laughs> what? I think it was 60s. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Ironside was from the 60s or the 70s. Google it, son, you'll be educated. Good lord. It's, it's I know what I'll be doing in between the next castle the and standard, the next. <laughs> the standard crippled detective but he's you know he can solve anything he was like um grissom of the past only good with lord a wheelchair so i suppose you could say he was like no he's, he's nothing like stephen hawkins is he because he's, he's not a theoretical stephen hawkings <laughs> as a detective <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah good lord we uh we digress we carry on we uh we erase Love the last it. minute from our memory <laughs> so we're starting to take going. the map now the same is I, I mean finally getting out there. We've got a cannon like Kirioff was saying, I think, before I just blitzed him with my voice. No. No, no, sorry, good lord. I no. Do, I, 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 well, no. 
<laughs> I'll say we've got a pathogen gland, so he's going to get some infestors. And we finally got a baneling nest, which ah, is delightful. Delightful. It's almost built as well, the old bane nest is. Yeah, and we've got pathogen, pathogen jans, glands on the way, love it. I mean, so hopefully we'll see some fungal growth and horrible detonation. Yeah. Well, we've actually got an overseer going through the middle of the base. Ah, it's going to get killed. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting, <laughs> I was hoping to see some contaminate. I do love contaminate. It was not to be, though. But the overseer would have seen the Stargate. <laughs> I do apologise. Would have seen the Stargate. And uh, so phoenixes are on the way, which could be okay. Although, spy, I mean, look at that. Straight away, we've got spore crawlers going down. Almost yeah. the instant I looked at his natural there, the saints dropped spore crawlers down. Now, the key now is... He, don't overreact because sometimes you see people and they just go mad and they just put loads down. By the looks of it, it just looks like he's going to go with a one. Or maybe maybe put two down, I don't know. Has he got any down in his main? Yeah, yeah he's, he's got one got on the back one. of the main. So that's good enough, you know. You don't need loads and loads. Obviously, the the uh, Phoenix can't really do much against this poor crawler. I mean, we've got he a just... Phoenix actually just... I don't know, what is that Phoenix doing? Trying to just... It's not really going to be much very effective there. No, well, unless it's just for scouting, but in that case, it's you should research the nation, really. Well, I, d I don't know, but it's fairly expensive. Just send a bloody probe round to have a look. And also, that one, one yeah, he's going to have to wait for more to, to do any successful harassment, and that's going to give uh, the same loads well, of Oh, we've got Banelings in the actual natural, though. I don't know whether there was any kills there. I don't think there was. I think the Banelings actually all got killed. We've got more Banelings moving in now, uh, but he's going to do a double pylon bot. Whoa, that's not worth it. Two Banelings for one probe. Talk about overkill, son, but we love a bit of overkill. Let's see a gander at the units killed, son. The, well, the units killed. We've got 50 units that have been killed from Nomad. And uh, versus 32, but only three workers have actually been killed in the entire game. So, really, why then is he so far behind Nomad? Because he took his Nexus a bit too late. That's what I've got to say to that. That's Pretty my expert much. analysis. The unit lost and, analysis, son. And you don't want to be two bases behind which effectively no, is what he really. is admittedly the the gold is not being mined for the saint but the fact is he's still got four up and oh yeah now he's starting to mine from it so we've got more phoenix coming down so there's going to be three phoenix on the field now he will actually be able to take out the overalls pretty fast if that's what he's going to go for i, I mean I i'm not too sure just... that's the best thing to do though because the army is gathering it's not massive by any means for the saint but it, it's still quite bad i mean if he gets fungal growth off you know, and it debilitates all the uh, the stalkers and that. Yeah. It's going to allow him to take down buildings, that is, and really... I... We've got, yeah, the, the phoenixes are actually just doing your, your standard... Uh, I know, but they're not paying for the salve. But... They, they, come on, though, man. You need to do something with the phoenixes. They are not paying for the salve, just sitting there over that expansion. Yeah, they need to move around. And then... Spore crawlers are just being put down everywhere. We've got loads of spine crawlers at the goal as well. Oh god, it's frustrating yeah, me. This is it's like, I think he was waiting for the fourth Phoenix by the looks of it. It's about to join the three. It's taken too long, hasn't it? It's not. Yeah, yeah. In the time it's taken him to get the four Phoenixes down there, he's got rid of like five drones, and yet the gold is up and is full of workers. So, what's he really taken away? He, he's, I mean, he's miles behind in income. He's starting to get contained. You know, the map with control is most definitely in the Saints' favour. But, I mean, Nomad could use the Phoenixes. He's, I mean, he needs to do something with them. I, although, um, it's kind of hard to find a place where they could actually be effective because of all the anti-air. Mm. He's going in now, though, so... He should be able to snipe a couple of the Queens off. He's probably going to lose one Phoenix. Oh, there's some Corruptors are on the way now. The Corruptors need to turn around. They'll be able to absolutely smash the Phoenixes. Yeah. yeah, there's one. The Phoenixes need to get out there. They need to go back up to his base and rejoin his army. It looks like they've uh, sounded the old Town Hall bell from Warcraft 3 and they're back home, son. They're back home. Well, they're, they're on the way. way back home anyway. So, We've... yeah, I mean, they, they, they're still effective with the army, though. They're surprisingly effective, Phoenixes are. They can take key units out of play, can't they? With the... Yeah, and then they can take a hell of a lot of damage as well. But those Corruptors are just going to completely nullify them. <laughs> There's quite yeah, a few there, really. There's spires on the way as well, so we'll be seeing Brulings. We've got Corruptors there in the uh, over the Fabled Abyss. They need Ooh. to be careful because they might get taken down. Yeah, they were looking. Ultra they were looking cavern as well. <laughs> <laughs> Quality. Quality, son. So, uh, yeah, another expansion is being taken now by the Saints. So, it's looking kind of bad for Nomad. I think it's a case of uh, inaction. 
Yeah, just waiting too long. Yeah, waiting too long, allowing the Saint to just do what the hell he likes. We seen a, we did see an initial attack. Maybe that. Well, we've got an attack coming in now, and the Phoenixes are. Well, I don't know what they're doing. They're going straight in. <laughs> Crazy bastards! What are they doing? They're trying to start down Ooh. the corruptors. Uh, no, that's not too clever. But the main army is actually doing a lot of damage. The Infestors are all being what killed. What are the Infestors there. doing? Oh, come uh, on! Infestors out of position. Bad, bad, bad. We've got Brood Lords coming in, but the Brood Lords are going to get taken down by the Phoenix there. Yeah, what he's not left hell? any. He's left like two corruptors up. He's got There's no other hands yet. There are a lot of roaches though, and the roaches are going to do a ton of damage to the stalkers. The stalkers are being reinforced. Now, we were slated the phoenix. It looks like the phoenix are paying for themselves. Yeah, yeah. That was a bad decision though. It's a more for oh, yeah, it was in the middle of that. And to, I don't know what the infestors were doing. They just walked straight into the army. Yeah. When really they were well within fungal growth range. So he could have got like four fungal growths off at the least. And instead he got off one. He's which got is... some problems now. I mean. He is reinforcing the roaches, but I don't know whether it's going to be enough. I mean, he's got a lot of forces there. The Phoenix is still in the air. Well, I think one Phoenix actually in the air, so not Phoenix. Actually, yeah, there's just one Phoenix, sorry. And um, yeah, it looks like they're going to get into the main and they're going to be able to take out some key structures. And one Queen is not going to be able to do which He does have Burrow, which is quite handy because, you know, there's no protection there, so there's no way yeah. to pick them up. I mean, he's got the Ultralist Cavern. I, mm, it looks like the Saint is trying to be too cocky. I'll have the Brood Lords, I'll have the Ultralist, and he's paying for it big style now, so. Yeah, really Infestation Pit's totally gone. Roach Warren's it's about like to go down. A, it's like he's took a loan out from Wonga.com with 10,000% interest. Oh, he they come back the on payday. Print. He never read the small print, and now he's bad times for him. There's a lot of roaches there, but unfortunately for everyone that dies, he can't build anymore. Oh, oh, oh my God, it's not of this look. He killed them 10,000 more kids. are coming in. So, I mean, they are going to do a bit of damage, but against that, they're still going to get hammered, ain't they? Yeah, they're that getting hammered. That was a late from the field. Uh, I don't know, look at Burrow. Actually, they should be able to clean this up a bit Burrow. And then on Burrow, dance around like that, because a lot of the stalks have took a lot of damage, although the shields are regenerating. It's going to be an interesting one, this is. But I think, oh, I think oh, I've... more reinforcements coming down. It's all over it, but... Have the roaches got rapid regeneration? I think they might have. I think they have that anyway, don't they, roaches? You can now, I think you can upgrade it to be even faster when, when they're burrowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. I can't quite remember, but I mean, yeah, the roach is getting smashed. He's lost his main buildings. He's actually built another ultralist cavern, uh, which is Ooh. 64 zerglings. Uh, yeah, they could turn the tide. It looks like Nomad for me was doing pretty well there with that attack, but it looks like he just didn't have the weight of numbers to push that through. Obviously, with yeah. all these zerglings now, their sentries going to get, uh, the stalkers, sorry, going to get cleaned off the map. Yeah, they're just going to get out. Oh, they're hammered. They've got no chance. Not against that many. What the hell? Uh, so, looking at the army value now, I mean, it's greatly in favour of the same, but obviously, they're all zerglings. Um, <laughs> which are gash. Which are gash, but in that amount, I mean, it's sickening. And he can, I think he's still got his bane in this, yeah, so he can still morph them. We've got a. Uh, a Oh, the hive managed to survive. Oh, we've got a, a phoenix just chilling out above the hive. 150 health. Now that <laughs> that is bloody lucky. It is lucky. You're not telling me that was planned. <laughs> <laughs> it was planned. Planned to perfection. That was fun. Oh, zerglings have moved up. They're going to go for a bit of a, yeah. a bit of backdoor action. I, I think they're just running around like nuts. Oh, I yeah. mean, they've come back. They were checking for the third, and the third's not there. So the saint must know he's, you know. He, his economy is vastly superior. He could just effectively suicide units into the front. Oh my god, he got hiccups. Suicide them straight into the front of. Bloody hell. Suicide them. Good lord. Stay with us, son. Stay I'm, I'm with here, us. Son. I'm here, get the deep for that. And uh, he, he could just suicide them straight into the front and whittle him down. We've got seven infestors on the way. Those, If he uses those properly, not like he used the last lot, we don't, we don't just run them in at the front of the <laughs> army. <laughs> Although. Bloody hell, the Nomad needs to expand. He needs to expand bad. He's massively oversaturated at that. He can't. Do it. I mean, he needs to expand. He needs to. I mean, it looks like he's going now. He's moving off to the left. He's going to start taking down the structural rocks. We've actually got a void ray on the field, which there's no anti air, so uh, there no are mobile anti air anyway. Yeah, well, the only yeah, thing he's got is the <laughs> Oh dear. He's days and numbered, the old void ray. He's going to get smashed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd really. Nomad has not got the economy to really lose anything at the moment. He needs to keep all his units alive because he's just totally, he's totally ruined. I mean, look at that, 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 that area of minerals. 
It's like he's being horribly harassed. It doesn't deserve such a thing. It, it is, but I mean, for me, again, we're falling into this situation where the saint, I mean, he must piss him now he's so far ahead. Just slam him. I mean, yeah, Nomad could beat him, right? He's not totally lost, but I mean, it's so ridiculous, ain't it? I mean, apply the pressure, man. Apply the pressure. Yeah, you could easily swarm in there. Those Zerglings, I think, could take out that army and do a bit of damage as well. Right, even if they didn't take it out, I mean, there are a lot of Zealots, but he, he could do run by and just wipe out all the probes. Yeah. That was <laughs> fungal growth there on the Void Rain. A couple of uh, dirty, infested Marines coming to shoot it up. There, are, there were a load of Broodlords on the go, where are they? Or am I just seeing things? There's a lot no, of corruptors. Yeah, I think I was just expecting loads of Broodlords. Uh, the corruptors have wiped out the Void oh, Rain. No, 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 no. Why has he done that? What's Nomad that has sold himself horribly here. He's, it, admittedly, it's the correct response to Zerglings is to build Colossi. But, oh, good, he's cancelled it. <laughs> That's good. I was just thinking to myself, when you know that the enemy's got corruptors on the field, you don't start building a Colossus. That's not... It's that is not, not the way to go. <laughs> it's it doesn't not the way work. To go. Well, the problem is now, son, we've got like eight brood, well, ten brood lords on the way. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, so I just looked at the production tab. So, uh, keeping that colossus. <laughs> Bad it's, times. It's going to make no difference. I think he was literally the saint. He's just waiting to amass a massive army. He's not max population, but it doesn't bloody matter. There's a dark templar there. He can just go do what the hell he likes. Not nothing to the brood lords. The brood lords have wiped this out on their own. Yeah, yeah. And so won't... there's GG, which could have happened 10 bloody minutes ago, but there you go. So remember to check out unilost.com, check out Cynical Brit, the sponsor, and um, yeah, the win goes to the Saint from the University of London, Team B. So remember to check out the channel, which you obviously are, well, you, may, you might not be, you might be watching this somewhere else, but subscribe to us because we'd like that greatly. And um, also carry off one. That's I'd what I mean be. by we, and um, we'll see you next time, no doubt. Too blue.